Hey guys, how's it going? Kill here. I'm gonna showcase the new Kaname, the Karakura Battle version, if that's what he's gonna be called. And yeah, he's actually pretty dope. I never would have summoned for him since he's a premium character together with all the other characters in its banner. It's a match mode banner. Um, but he's. He's actually pretty good and he does fill in a little gap, which I'm gonna talk here in a minute. Uh, I did level up his attack stat to level 5. I didn't link slot him or put it to level 10. I don't have a lot of spare large attack scrolls, so I'm gonna keep on to those. And I also don't wanna use my link potions for him since there might be a couple more characters I want to level up. I also need to level up my Bruno to T20, which I need a ton of link potion. So it, it's enough. It's enough for me to have him only attack five. But anyways, let's get started. Here's in power, a Ranker killer. He has a damage reduction link of 20%. And he's a ranged character with weakened on everything. He has paralysis resistance from 100% and a sprinter has his innate skills. I don't know if guild quest hard ranged Ranker Week has paralysis puddles, but if it does, would be nice. He isn't gonna be that good, and I'm gonna talk about that uh, also in a minute. Uh, he has a bruiser of 20%, so he doesn't deal. A whole lot of damage, 30% berserker and 20% devastation. Don't know why it's only 20% and not 40 like most characters, but it doesn't really matter since you're only gonna use it for a soul bomb. Uh, for the weakening, you're only gonna use the soul bomb for weakening. Uh, damage reduction 20% and an increased technique droplet drop of 30%, so more than the old characters with uh, 17%. And that's probably where you want to use him the most in Rich Droplet Zone. And he also has Flurry, Debilitator, Poise and Guard Break, which is pretty good. And I did look it up. He is actually, together with the Tech Riruka, the only character that has Flurry, Poise and Guard Break who's in the premium pool. That's actually crazy. <laughs> If you think about it and the reason why I think this character is actually pretty dope is basically just because he's in the premium pool really it it's the single reason I think he's really good is that he's in the premium pool so people can get him especially in newer players uh, don't really have a lot of good auto characters like uh, Spirit Society White Ichigo Tokinada, Grimjaw, uh, Misaki, someone like them. None of these characters are premium, but this one is, and he is. He he doesn't do a lot of damage. He only has Bruiser of twenty percent, which is why he's also not gonna perform incredibly well in Guild Quest. But he's ranged. He has weakening. He has paralysis resistance. Uh, so. He has poise, which means he has a lot of survivability, even though he doesn't have like uh, a last edge survival link. He also has the damage reduction. So yeah, he, he's a pretty darn god auto character. And we're gonna test him in the enriched droplet zone. I did try a little bit with him and he can easily clear it. He can also easily auto uh, the enriched droplet zone. He can auto uh, the inheritance zone, no problem whatsoever. So uh, we're gonna try to auto the point event after this, because I'm interested to see if he can auto it. Now, he does have a Hollow Bait, Gold Chappie and Normal Chappie equipped. Unfortunately, I only have a 20% attack Normal Chappie, but I think it doesn't matter too much. Uh, 
We're running three Zengatsu since he's not link slotted, so we can just go off color. And we also bring this Nano since she also has a increased droplet uh, drop rate. So yeah, let's just start the run. We do have killer on these rankers, not on these hollows, but we can do a little bit of damage comparison. And yeah, uh, let's test all his net first. Uh, don't worry about the increased soul reaper, strong attack damage. We're not gonna make use of that. Uh, I really think it looks it looks really good. I like the snat attack. It's similar to Kugo, the cringy killer Kugo snat attack. But yeah, I, I do like it. It has a lot of range and this is also gonna have him uh, survive a lot of content where he autos and can attack enemies that are out of the screen like Masaki and Tokinada can do. Now, uh, for strong attacks, even though you're most likely not going to use them when you play manually, they are somewhat useful if he autos, since uh, the first attack is a beam. Uh, I don't, I don't even know how far the beam goes. It's not, it, it's not a 3,000 length beam or anything, but it does keep the enemies a little bit away from you. The second strong attack is this. Pulling a uh, strong attack, so it pulls the enemies and pushes them a little bit in front of you. So that's good if you have enemies that are crowded around you and or around the Kaname when he autos. So the second strong attack does help him. A shield or a boost obviously would be better, but it's it's better than having a garbage <laughs> second strong attack it's better than having a lunch or something like that uh third strong attack standard full screen and yeah let's just rush through these you can see on the rankers where we have killer we can deal like 20k damage easily if we get a crit uh there was a 20k 17k and yeah about 10 to 12k on the hollows where we don't have killer but he he can clear through this fairly easily and he is able to auto this obviously i don't know for sure how easy it would be to auto with him if you don't have any accessories and you also don't have any links or something like that but uh i feel like to be able to auto, uh, you need a little bit of stuff, and if this character can auto the point event on what's the highest difficulty, Nightmare, if he can auto it on Nightmare, uh, I do think he can clear the quest if you play manual with him. No. Let's see the soul bomb. I really like the soul bomb. I do really think it looks really cool. I, I love his transformation. Would have loved if they made uh, a transformation mechanic out of it. But, well, it is what it is. They didn't. I uh, don't think they did it for any character in a while. I'm not sure there, there aren't a lot of characters with transformation mechanics i think but anyways let's do the point event the current point event that he's in and see what he can do here if he can order it okay so he doesn't have killer he doesn't have attribute advantage he should have here right yeah so we, we're not gonna do this we're gonna do the uh, point event where he doesn't have killer just to confirm he can clear this. I don't know if any of these are hidden. I usually don't uh, use... Uh, I usually don't have Quinchies as enemies, so I don't know. Uh, but anyways, let's, let's just stop and see 
Can he auto this quest? If yes, that would be pretty dope. And again, what I wanted to talk about with him is he's nothing too special, right? I mean, Masaki hits with 60 Berserker more, she has a boost, she has a shield on her boost. The only thing she doesn't have is weakening and the damage reduction, but she also comes with uh, hidden enemies, so she's definitely better than this Kaname. Tokinada as well, uh, can't for your own world, Grimjo also hits harder than him, but the the thing that makes this character good isn't actually him he he's just decent i'd say uh he would be good in pvp if it wasn't for three characters <laughs> yamamoto uh, jugram and kishima but he, he's the best auto character that you can get from uh tickets i mean is he the best auto character? I actually would say he isn't since you can get 6th anniversary Eisen and Artbook Ichigo from the PBS tickets from the premium pool and I feel like yeah I, I do feel like at least Eisen is a better auto character even though he isn't flurry but he's just broken alright uh, Here's the boss enemy now. Unfortunately, it is an Askin. Askin? I don't know. Uh, now, I, I actually would have hoped it wouldn't be a uh, boss enemy that doesn't have a soul bomb or that doesn't use a soul bomb in the event just to see if he can survive the bomb. But, well, he, he cleared it. He cleared it really easy. I, I didn't even think it was that long. Can I can I see how long it took? Uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I see the clear time? Uh, no, I totally skipped that. But I think it was not the fastest, but it was it was really safe. He didn't got hit at all. So all in all, he he's a, an okay auto unit. Especially if you're a newer player and you can get him, he's gonna be a lifesaver, I think. And yeah, that's about it for me from this uh, new Kaname. And I hope you enjoyed it. This was my first showcase. I hope I didn't stutter too much. But anyways, I'll leave it at that. And I'll see you.